yo what's going on mimic here with another video this one's going to be a straight banger guys i've got some info for y'all this one is going to be about the first look on the legendary weapons that are going to be coming out here in throne and liberty this one's going to be straightforward it's going to be a short short video real quick just want to thank all the people who have been supporting me since the inception of this channel we hit 1000 subscribers in just two weeks which is insane so thank y'all so much for all the support i'm so happy you guys enjoy the content thank y'all for all the comments y'all leave me and all the likes you guys give uh, across all my videos thank y'all so much for the support because you guys gave me a thousand subs i normally do one video a day but in celebration of me getting past the thousand uh, uh subs i'm gonna shoot you guys another video right now on the fly this one is a first look at the legendaries that are available. These were data mined by some of the guild members that I rub shoulders with in other guilds, in my guilds, in, in some of the top guilds in the game. And they were somehow able to data mine this info. Uh, a lot of the players have been playing this game for over a year when it was in closed beta, and they have access to things that um, I don't have access to, and they know some of the devs and this may be a crazy leak that i'm not even supposed to show on youtube i have no idea but i saw this and i'm like you know what i've got to make a video on it so without further ado what i'm going to do is a little bit of editing on this one i'm going to cut to the legendaries and we're going to talk about them let's go so i'm doing a cut right now and you guys should see the legendaries on your screen now so let's talk about them okay top left is a bow now there's a lot of placeholders in this screenshot so i don't know how accurate this is and for all i know this could all be fake to be honest but i found this in one of our discord channels supposedly it is real uh, but there are a lot of placeholders because it was data mined so let's start on the top left it's a bow you can see that the passive here is called tour mangard's roar again i don't know if that's a placeholder but what it shows here is deals damage equal to 150 percent of base damage with a 22 percent chance of stunning the target for four to six seconds how op is that on bow bow is already strong in the game why are they going to give someone this legendary bow that is just broken if you're stunned for four to six seconds you're dead let me know what y'all think in the comments. Do you think this is real? Do you think it's fake? I mean, this has to be real, guys. It has to be, right? Obviously, there's a lot of placeholders, but I think it's real. What do y'all think about the bow? Let me know in the comment section. That is OPAF. Let's move on to the sword here. The sword here is Turmangard's Earthquake. It says jumps towards a target and attack, which is nice. A little gap close there. Dealing damage equal to 120% of base damage with a 33% chance of knocking targets back from your landing point. Move speed of knocked back targets is decreased by 60% for four to six seconds. That is super OP as well, because if you got tanks in the front lines and those tanks jump into the enemy midline, they're going to be CCing a whole bunch of people. And those people are going to be stuck with movement speed, 60% cut in half for those four to six seconds. That is disgusting. And that looks like that's a great sword. Pretty nice little sword. If you ask me, let me know. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section. Let's move on. Crossbow says here. Uh, Tumangard's, uh, Tumangard's Fury it deals damage equal to 180% of base damage. Also, you'll have a 54% chance to, of reducing the target's movement speed for 5 seconds and inflicting bind for 2 seconds once the effect ends. That is also very, very strong. A lot of these so far that what I've been seeing are like there's a lot of CC effects in these legendary weapons, which is crazy. On PvP, this CC is like, it's number one. If you have CC in PvP, you're probably winning the fight, to be honest. Let me know what you guys think about the crossbow in the comment section. Let's move on to the staff here. Deals 135% of base damage to the target and surrounding targets with a 43% chance to inflict bind frostbite for four to six seconds so 
they're going to be frostbitten for four to six seconds. I think that's frozen. So they freeze for four to six seconds. Another CC on the staff. That's OP because staff has a very, very long range. And right now the meta is transitioning to bow staff for the added range. So you're going to be able to CC people from a distance. Can you imagine stacking the bow with the chance of stunning the target for four to six seconds and then having the staff inflicting the frostbite for four to six seconds? I mean, something's broken here. Let me know what you guys think. I'm, I'm interested in, in thinking uh, and seeing what you guys think. Is this real or is it fake? What do you think? I think it's real. So I'm just going to share it. Let you guys be the judge of what you guys think. Let's move on to the dagger here. Says deals 200% of base damage with a 50% chance to inflict enfeeble block health info for 8 to 12 seconds. That's pretty cool. It's not the best, but it's cool. If you guys don't know the block health info, when you fight certain uh, bosses in the game, they hit you with something and your health bar becomes like a purple like thing and you can't see how much health you have. So that's what this is going to do. It's going to block your health info for 8 to 12 seconds. That's a long time to not know if you're almost dead. Uh, or if you're full health, it's gonna that's gonna cause some trouble with the healers because the healers are not gonna be able to see your health for eight to twelve seconds. And when you're PvPing, eight to twelve seconds is a lifetime. Let me know what you guys think about the dagger. Let's move on to the sword and shield here. Deals damage equal to 180% of base damage with 39% chance of decreasing all recovery effects on the target by 30%. For four to six seconds so this is a mass debuff and it's pretty much going to put like a, a thing on you where you can't be healed in other words uh, all recovery effects on the target are decreased for 30 seconds for four to six 30 uh, 30 for four to six seconds so it's a mass debuff uh for someone which is pretty cool i mean if you do that to like their enemy front tanks you're debuffing the front tanks they won't be able to sustain through that because they're all the heals are going to be blown on those tanks they're going to be less effective. So that's like anti-heal pretty much is what, what this is. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section. And finally, the wand here says here, immediately removes stun effects from party members within range and increases stun resistance by five for six seconds. That's nice. That is, that's pretty nice. It's so sheer. It's an F, but I think it's pretty good. I mean, if you guys all get stunned, Right, and I don't know. I don't think sleep is a stun. I think sleep is a sleep. Uh, we'll have to kind of see, you know, in the future if that's if that's what it is. I think a sleep is a sleep. A stun is a stun. But if there's a mass stun, you can cleanse that. This is like the first cleanse that I've seen on a mass cleanse. Uh, so it says remove stun effects from party members. So it's only on your party. It's not like an AOE for everyone that gets hit by it. It's only your party. So a max of six people. I can see why they put this as an F. Let me know what you guys think. Uh, but that's the video. I think that the best, most OP is probably the bow. I'm going to go with the bow. I think the bow is the most OP one out of all of these, even though the person thinks that the most OP is going to be this great sword with the knocking the targets back. Uh, and then move the movement speed of knockback targets is increased. That is actually kind of OP, OP too. I mean, because that... I don't know what the percentage cooldown time is on this jump towards a target. Like, I don't know. Is it once every 30 seconds? Is it once every two minutes? There's no timer that tells me, like, when this passive is actually going to go in effect. So, I mean, it could be OP if it's every attack i don't think that that's how it would work that would just break the game um but this is pretty nice and then also the stun here on the bow is pretty nice so my top two is going to go with the bow and the great sword let me know what you guys think is the most op and why uh in the comment section but i want to cut back to the game real quick here and yeah that's it guys I wanted to just drop that for you guys uh as a thank you for getting me to a thousand subs so quickly i was going to hold the video till tomorrow but I'm just going to release it right now, uh, and I'm interested to think if you guys think it's BS, uh, if you guys think that the data mine is correct. Um, I'm interested in seeing what you guys think as far as which is the most OP, and which ones are you actually looking forward to uh, using, and if they are real. So 
let me know in the comment section let's have a convo around it and see what you guys think about i think it's real i think the data mine is real and i think like i said the bow and the great sword are probably going to be pretty pretty nasty and if it's real i'm definitely going to be using that great sword best believe thanks so much for the view don't forget to like drop me a comment and if you like this type of videos you like my tutorials don't forget to sub because I'm dropping new content every day for you guys. I have a bunch of videos lined up. I'm going to be dropping those throughout the next days and weeks. Thanks so much for the support. Until next time. Peace.